after yesterday's blender with my video editing software. Here I am remaking the affirmation of the week because this week's aff Quincy. Because this week's affirmation is just so important. It is inspired by this book, um, Year of Yes, by Shonda Rhimes. I had no idea who Shonda Rhimes was, but this book spoke to me in terms of the cover and the title when I was at a bookstore, local bookstore, um, last month or a while ago. And y'all, I finished this in a weekend. Um, and this is so packed full of affirmations, but for this week, I decided on this um, verse that I feel like many of us would need. So, this for context, um, this is like near the end of the book and she talks about how this year of yes has impacted her positively in ways of like how she carried herself and things like that. And so here's what she said about her friend's response to her changes. So to quote, I can certainly feel the difference. It is both terrifying and exhilarating. Mentally, I'm trying to be as cocky and immodest and brazen as I can. I'm trying to take up as much space as I need to take up, to not make myself smaller in order to make someone else feel better. And the next sentences are the affirmation of the week, and that's, I'm allowing myself to shamelessly and comfortably be the loudest voice in the room. I'm never merely lucky. I strive for bad assery. Once again, it's I'm allowing myself to shamelessly and comfortably be the loudest voice in the room. I'm never merely lucky. And I strive for bad assery. I think these three sentences is so important to so many of us because we are brought up to be quieter, right? Or to be more silent. Or that to not disagree or not voice our discontentment is to get along. It is part of a lot of our culture and especially Asian culture where um, younger folks or younger generations are taught to respect their elders and to respect means to follow without any disagreements, to follow without any input from us that what the elders say is gold and what the elders say is final. So here's the affirmation of the week once again. I'm allowing myself to shamelessly and comfortably be the loudest voice in the room. I am never merely lucky and I strive for bad assery. Y'all, the achievements that y'all have made is never just a matter of luck. It's a matter of hard work, it's a matter of going against the grain, going against the system that's meant to break us down. So I hope this affirma the affirmation helps you and if it did, comment down below and also, if it inspired you to do something different, I would love to know it as well. Um, I'll just see you this Friday for Free Us Fridays. Meanwhile, y'all take care and stay safe.